Now is he? The same. I spoke with Dr. Douglas. He told me that Alex's condition had stabilized. Yes. He told me that, too. Whatever that means. Well, it's a good sign. Alex was critical when he was brought in. It means he's past the most dangerous point now. It's all hospital double talk. To cover the fact that they can't do anything for him. Well, they're doing what they can. Are they? Well, of course they are. All I know is that my husband is lying there in that bed. He can't hear me. He can't speak to me. And he's been like that since they brought him in. Well, recovery from a stroke can often be a very slow process. Sometimes he opens his eyes, but only to stare straight ahead. I know it's difficult. No. No, you don't know. First I lost my son, and now... You haven't lost Dennis. Have you seen him? Earlier today. How is he? That's why I'm here, Iris. I have to talk to you about Dennis. Can't you tell me what it is that you found out? No. Well, well who's told you about this new evidence? Dad? Eric, he's on his way to the hospital to see Mom. He's probably there by now. Wouldn't it make you feel a little bit better to talk about it? All right, whatever you think is best. Can I bring you uh, some more books no, the next time I no, come? No, don't bother, Paige. It's no bother. I haven't been doing much reading lately. Why is that? I don't feel like it. I know it's difficult passing the time, isn't it? I spend most of my time sitting here staring at the walls, thinking. About what? Different things. About us? Sometimes. I think about us all the time, Dennis. About what it's going to be like when you get out of here. Paige, um, It's going to be so different when you get home, darling. Paige, you, Paige. There aren't going to be any secrets anymore, ever. I promise. That's all in the past. We're going to have a wonderful future together. I don't see any future at all for us, Paige. Well, you're wrong, Dennis. <laughs> don't tell me I'm going to have to start believing for both of us. Look, face it, I may not get out of this place. You will. You will. Stryker is going to get you out of here. The DA is pressing for a charge of first-degree murder, Paige. But no decisions have been made, Dennis. The charge could be changed to manslaughter. I could still go to jail for ten years. I don't believe for one minute that you are going to be sentenced to a prison term. Look, Paige, this is... All right, all right. All right. Let's just suppose that the worst could happen. I'll still wait for you, darling. No, Paige. Yes. Yes, Dennis. And I'm going to do everything I can to get you out of, out of jail as fast as possible. I'll, I'll come visit you. Paige, that's no life for you. But I'd have you. You are my life, Dennis. You're wrong, Paige. I think you'd be better. I think you'd be much better off without me. I don't like to leave Alex for long. This won't take long. Tell me if Dennis all right. Yes, all things considered. Did he ask you to come here and speak to me? No. I see. Then I suppose he's still refusing to see me. We didn't discuss it. Oh. 
We did talk about you, though. Oh. Nothing good, I'm sure. Yes, the two of you would be in perfect agreement against me. I will never understand Dennis. After all I did for him, he... he turns on me. Just what did you do for him, Iris? Everything I could to protect him. You know that. When that dreadful Crishaw landed on my doorstep, I allowed myself to be threatened and blackmailed rather than have Dennis find out about his wife's pornographic film career. Your only thought was to protect Dennis. Yes. I was willing to pay a million dollars so that he could be spared any kind of hurt. And it didn't hurt you knowing that you could use that film to force Paige to leave Dennis. If she really loved him, she would leave him of her own accord. She's brought nothing but disaster into his life. That's not for you to judge. Dennis loves Paige. He could never really love a tramp like that. A porno film star and my son. It's too disgusting for words. We all have our past indiscretions. Our little secrets. Nothing compared to what that creature's done. Look, I'm not, I'm not interested in wasting any more time talking about Paige, if that's what you came for. No, Iris, it's not. I came here to talk about you. What about me? I'd like to know more about what you did to help Dennis the night Chris Shaw was murdered. Elliot, how can you bring that up now? Here. I don't want to talk about it. I, I only want to forget. All Dennis wants is to remember. You know, he still has no memory of actually killing that man. Because he didn't kill him. Paige did. I don't think so. It's obviously Paige. She had the only real motive. She wanted that film, and she did what she had to do to get it back. Well, that's how it looked at first. But the police won't buy that story anymore. Because Dennis is protecting her. Well, Dennis was the only other person in the office the night he was murdered. He was, wasn't he? How would I know? What if someone else had been there that night? What are you getting at? Elliot, I know you too well. Why don't you just come right out and say what's on your mind? All right. There was someone else in Chris Shaw's office the night he was murdered. And that someone was you, Iris. What a dreadful thing to say to me. That's insane. Who put that idea into your head, Paige? Iris, it's a fact. Don't deny it. I have evidence. What evidence? This. Your handkerchief with Chris Shaw's blood on it. <laughs> 